Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the recap. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, and uh, yeah, let's go over my trades. As you can see, today I was down $389, but today was the market was a little bit whippy, uh, a lot of false breakouts, so it didn't play in my favor. But I still took the trades regardless as I would have in any you know condition because I'm trading my own pattern, my own plan, right? So, you know, this morning I came in and uh, the gap scanner was looking like this at 6.15 a.m. You know, IZEA was gapping up um, and um, IDEX, IMRN. By the way, IMRN today went up 1,000%. Um, in pre-market, this was up 54%, but later on in the day, it went 1,000%. So, I traded today um, NAKD. Um, I's, EYES, and uh, HTZ. Um, so, you know, my two big losses were on I's, EYES, and HTZ. Both One had a false breakout, and the other one, HTZ, HTZ, was right idea, but the wrong timing. Literally, like, a minute later, two minutes later, same pattern formed. I just wasn't looking at it, and it took off like a rocket right after that. So the right idea, just wrong timing. Um, so yeah, let's just go over my trades. So IDEX, I got in. So let's see what IDEX, it opened up at 102. And I got in for a right to green move, I believe. So let's look at that. Yeah, man, check that out. Today, like the opening was horrible. It just, stock just kept on going down. So I thought these might not come back up. So eventually a lot of stocks actually dipped down for some time and eventually had some consolidation and went back right up. So, but usually by then I stopped trading. So I, I missed all of the moves. So the stock actually opened up around this area right here, right? 102. Um, and I got in for the break of this inflection point. 105 thinking you know it's gonna go higher and then break pre-market highs it's obviously you know i got in and sold some 107 and the rest broke even on so made some money um and then got in nakd i believe nakd was let's see oh by the way this was imrn let me just check out this beast right here like this thing opened up at 216 uh sorry close 216 yesterday and today in pre-market, it went all the way up to 12 bucks. And today it went all the way up to later in the day, 28.45. This thing is insane. But anyways, let's go back to um, NAKD. Let's see if I have it up here, if, right here. So again, same thing happened right later on. It just went up after, later on in the intraday. So NAKD, I went in at 94 cents and it got out at 88 cents. So I wanted to do the right to green move, which is I got in here, but it was a false breakout. It never happened. That's why I got out. But eventually later on, you know, the same inflection point was holding and it took off from there. Again, right idea, just the wrong timing. Today was all about that. Um, so that was NAKD. EYES, I got in at 166. Then I bought again at 170. Um... And then eventually I sold it for a loss, but I'll show you what, what what my plan was. So I got it at 166, which was at the opening price around uh, this area right here. As it came back around, right? And I added at 170. Uh, let me actually pull up where it actually opened up at, just so we get the exact figure. So EYES, Opened up at 171. Okay, right here, 171. So I got in at 171, which was right about here. So catching that right to green move, and I got in at 166, because it was, you know, I can tell by the level two, it was strong, and I added again at 171 for the opening price, thinking it would, you know, go up from here. But it actually failed, and I sold for a loss at 158. Um, the chart, you know, at that point, I thought it was going to hit the uh, 90 MA and go back up more. So that's how I was holding it. But it, it didn't do that. 
Uh, but again, if you can see, this is was a big resistance the whole day and eventually took off from here. Again, right idea, just the wrong timing. Um, so let's continue. And NAKD, I got in again at 113, sold some at 117, and then rest got out, almost break even. So made some money there on NAKD. And this is on EYES for the loss that I sold. And then HTZ, this was the stock today. It was supposed to be a home run trade, but just wrong timing, man. So HTZ, I got in. I got in for the break around this point right here for the break of 448, I believe. 440, yeah, 448, I think it was. Um, but as it went up, it did a false breakout, but then it broke the 9 EMA and it bounced from VVAP and it took off from there. Right idea, just the wrong timing, once again. So maybe in the future, I can, you know, tell myself if the VVAP is near. Maybe then I can, you know, maybe hold my position or still just get out and get in again. Since I know if it's holding VVAP, it might come back up and break my original entry point and get in there again. So that's something I can, you know, take away from this. So, yeah, today was, you know, um, of a, a red day, but, you know, we all learn from red days. So I definitely learned a few things as well. Either way, I'm up, you know, I'm still green on the month. So, this doesn't, you know, wipe out all of my profits at all. So, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Um, subscribe to my Twitter channel as well. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, because I'm seeing a lot of you guys are not subscribing. So, if you guys do subscribe, please, that would help a lot. So, yep, I hope everyone else had a green day. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow.